did this clip now on YouTube, Greek Easter in Los Angeles, about getting the force and going thought, home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some people are writing, I said, dudes, you're not listening to the joke. Imagine now a month after the other Easter, getting pulled over by the LAPD, holding a keri with my <laughs> wife who's five months pregnant, and then the guy turns around and goes, what's going on? I go, Christ, this it isn't. Get out of the fucking car. So it's like, and I try to explain to Officer Rodriguez that it's Easter. He goes, Easter was a month ago. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's part of being Greek. I go, I, I had to explain it to the guy. On the friggin' road. And we had Surekia and uh, Kuluria. And I gave him oh, some. Man. He, he had the force. He had the force on. He was. He was a light flashlight. He goes, what are these? I go, uh, Kuluria. Are they good? I go, here, open the thing. I put some in a bag for him. No, no, take it. It's okay. It's a custom for Greeks, you know. <laughs> and then I tagged the joke up by saying I invite him to the house for out of knee after. You know, you make it funny, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that all happened. And you yeah. see, in Greece, they don't see. What's the big deal if you left Ecclesia? During uh, uh, getting the force going home, everybody understands that. Yeah. But when you're in downtown LA holding a light like a fucking, a fucking cult and all these people in their cars are driving out, they're like, what the fuck is going on here? What are these people yeah, yeah. Like driving around like freaks? That's funny. That's a good it clip. Yeah. So so <laughs> I mean, they give you shit for that. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't understand. Yeah. But did you ever uh, like how, how did you face that reality? Because, I mean, we're facing it. the fact that you're Greek at heart, but you know that in the society that you live in, you, you're, you're kind of like a foreigner. Right. And then you go back to your ancestral land and you're still a foreigner. It's so like, foreign. what the fuck, dude? we have no belonging, man. We're like stuck in the middle. Anywhere you go, bang you have an on. accent. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, George, you're bang on, buddy. It, it's like, where do we belong? We're Americanakia, Hazo, Kanadizakia in Greece. Here we're Greeks. Now Hollywood labels ethnics now white ethnic. So before we were fucking Greeks, fucking Wops, fucking Serbians. Now we're white ethnic because we're white. I go, make up your minds. Before we were Greeks, now we're white ethnic. That's what Hollywood labels it now. I'm not because white, white, white ethnic is has not <laughs> suffered as much as other ethnicities. <laughs> but the but you're still privileged. You're still privileged. Well, because they, they need to differentiate. We're still white. You have to find, you look the, to find a degree for you. Yeah, yeah, if you look at me right now, what do I, I look like Otis from fucking Wyoming. How y'all doing? You good? <laughs> I, I go on the ships. They don't, you imagine me telling them I'm Greek. They look at me and they go, your name's funny. Are you from Kansas? <laughs> from Kansas. I thought I'd fuck up my name by giving it a Greek name for no apparent reason. Malaka. <laughs> like, what do you think I'm doing here? And it's so funny because I, I, if I work on cruise ships sometimes in mid-America, when they see me, so visually, when you see me, green eyes, lighter hair, I don't get Greek, you know? I look, I'm not even wearing black. You guys are wearing all the summer black Greeks wear. Summer and winter black. I got summer black. You guys do what the summer black and Greeks have two colors. Summer black, winter black. They have the two mava. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But the thing is, so when when they when they talk to me, they, they're they're like they see me as uh, they think I'm Bruno, the plumber in Chicago. They think I'm Otis from Topeka, Kansas. They don't see uh, Greek at all. They don't. Does, it doesn't let resonate. Me, let me ask you. Can I ask you a question? Sure. <laughs> Not like uh, the way they they act when they see your name. Did you ever have to tell them what, what your name means? Like, well, I, I do a joke about it. I learned a lot. Of you have to like Google a picture so you can show them what the actual shoe is, because you can't really fucking go, explain a little blue, white, and red pom pom on it. Yeah, they're right. Because I just told them my, my name is uh, uh, Evangelos Petros Sarukas, translated Angel Rock Sissy Shoes. Well, shoes of pom pom. <laughs> and they look at you. It's like the cup. It's like the cup with the candles, isn't it? Right, exactly. So you see Sarukaka <laughs> with Sarukas, and then I, you know, I had to tell my daughter, and she was like, what's her name? And it's funny Greek shoes of pom pom. And she laughs at it, you know, because it's, but it's, it's funny because a, a good comic will take that and make fun of it. 
And that's what I that's what I learned to do at a younger age. I thought, okay, it's for Greek sarukas, you know, whatever, karafotias, whatever. It's normal, but for other people, they can never can't say my name. But that's why I never changed it. Uh, Suffer. Suffer the way I did. You fucking pronounce uh, <laughs> Chitakis, Chitakis, whatever. Fucking say it. I pronounce it Sarukas. 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 So I think it's Sarukas. Sarukas. Sar- yeah. Or, or, or Sartachas is what we put it. Sartachas. <laughs> <laughs> that, happened, that happened to me actually on United Airlines, San Francisco. So they put a T after the R. So they had a gate change. So they called this is true. They go paging passenger Tsar touch ass, Angelo Tsar touch ass. Come United Airlines counter. I go, it's Sarukas. I didn't touch anyone's ass. You know, so 